Okay, so I don't want to beat a dead horse and I don't want to, you know, go on and on about this post thing, but I, I just want to remind you that um, in that post, my one and only personal declaration I've ever made, thanks for being so warm and welcoming, uh, you know, was about uh, the need for fragility in the feminist movement. It's going to be important. And when I mentioned women who look like me, I didn't mean white like me. I mean the kind of women who, you know, other people might not believe because they think, oh, well, look at her. She fucking deserves it or whatever. There's there's a lot of people like that, you know. And, um, you know, I just think it's sad that the women I mentioned about, you know, whether they sing about dancing for money or whatever. The same stuff, by the way, that I've been singing about and chronicling for 13 years. That's why I'm in that echelon. Yes, they are my friends and peers and contemporaries. Uh, the difference is when I get on the poll, people call me a whore. But when Twigs gets on the poll, it's art. So, you know, I mean, I'm reminded constantly by my friends that lyrically there are layers and complicated psychological, you know, factors that play into some of my songwriting. But I just want to say, you know, the the... The culture is super sick right now, and the fact that they want to turn my my post, my advocacy for fragility into a race war, it's really bad. It's actually really bad, especially when in that same declaration, I was talking again about the idea of how important it is to make reparations to the for me to the Navajo community because they touched me so much in my youth and you know, that I believe in personal reparations because it's the right thing to do. And, you know, I think what's really sad is like, as a personal advocate, as a girl's girl, as somebody who wants the best for every culture, you know, when Mary Williamson was talking about reparations to the black community that never got done during the emancipation period, that was why I liked her, because I always felt that way. So I just want to say to all of the other women out there who are like me, good girls, good intentioned, get fucked up the ass constantly by the culture just because you you know say what you really mean I'm with you and um, I feel for you and I know that you feel for me and you know I'm super strong you know you you can call me whatever you know I'm sorry that you know I didn't add one Caucasian 100% Caucasian person into the mix of the women that I admire but uh you know it really says more about you than it does about me. And I think that what's interesting is the very first time I decide to tell you anything about my life or the fact that I'm writing books that chronicle that fragility, um, that, you know, 200,000 hateful, spiteful comments come in and, you know, my phone number leaked and, you know, comments like you fucking white bitch, you know. <sighs> It's the opposite of the spirit of an advocate. It's, it's what causes fragility. But it's not going to stop me, period. So I just want to say, nobody gets to tell your story except for you. And um, even if that means it's kind of messy like this along the way. Because, you know, unfortunately, when you have a good heart, it doesn't always shine through. And you, you tread, you tread, you trudge on anyway. You make those personal reparations to heal your own family karmic lineage and the sickness of this country, you know. Domestic abuse, mental health problems is the second epidemic that's arising out of this pandemic. It's a real thing. That's what I was talking about. So, um,. You know, as ever, I'm grateful that my muse is still here and that I have, over the last three years, been blessed to have the insight and, and ability to, to channel two books worth of beautiful poems. And, um, you know, I think my new record, Chemtrails Over the Country Club, is special as well. And, uh, you know, I'm sorry that a couple of the girls I talked to, you know, who were mentioned that post have a super different opinion of, you know, my uh, insight, and especially because we've been so close for so long. Uh, but it really, again, 
makes you reach into the depth of your own heart and, and say, well, am I good intentioned? And of course, for me, the answer is always yes. I barely ever share a thing. And this is why, you know? And the reason why I'm making this post, and I know it seems a bit much, right? But there are women out there like me who have so much to give and, you know, don't quite get to the to the place um, spiritually or karmically where they're supposed to be because there are other women who hate them and try and take them down, whether in my case it's certain alternative singers or, you know, malintented journalists or, you know, men, men who hate women, you know, but I'm not the enemy and I'm definitely not racist, so don't get it twisted. Nobody gets to tell your story except for you and uh, that's what I'm going to do in the next couple books. So God bless and yeah, fuck off if you don't like the posts.